Hello everybody, it's me Ben. Welcome to day two of Water Week, a week where I design purely water type Pokemon. I'm doing this because one, it's the season of summer and water is a big theme in summer. That's very boring. I also am designing a gym leader for the water type gym, the first gym in the Mahali region. Today I will be making a regional variant for one of my top 10 favorite Pokemon, Lantern. In my second ever Nuzlocke attempt for Sword and Shield, I it, I fished for a Pokemon that I caught a Chin Chow. I didn't really expect it to, be, to do too much as I didn't have the Volt Absorb ability, but I was wrong because it what it one shot two of Nessa's Pokemon and easily became the MVP before dying to a Golurk after the eighth gym, forcing me to literally reinvent my whole team. I still lost the Nuzlocke if anybody's wondering. You know what, I think I'm rambling. Let's get into the video. The spook fish. It's a very cool fish that lives in the deep sea. It's practically a Pokemon already. If you guys are freaked out by freaky stuff, aliens and whatnot, you're gonna have to look away from the reference images. Once I realized that all regional variant Pokemon have the same pose, it was pretty easy to just make a design. And by pretty easy, I mean this design took like 40 minutes. For non autists I'll, I'll just put it in perspective. A really, really detailed design can take three hours. Not much to say about the design itself. I replaced the, the witch call it on its head. Okay, Google, be my friend here. What is it? It's called an Eska. I can't tell if it's the light on its head or the actual line thingy that connects it. It's probably the inspiration for the girl from The Legend of Korra. Anyway, back to the design itself, I just removed the Eska and replaced it with night vision goggles. And turned Chin Zhao into an underwater lantern. I took inspiration from submarines, deep sea submarines, as you can see from the thing. And that symbol on its head means light in Japanese. Pokemon put Japanese into certain things. The only th instance I can really think of right now is Fire Blast. It's fire in Japanese. And fire is iconic because it was the symbol for the Red Ranger in Power Ranger Samurai. The only gripe I have with this design is the line work. I'm kind of disappointed with the, how the line work makes the thing look. I use a different kind of brush when I'm drawing this Pokemon than with other Pokemon because I just wanted it to look more streamlined and I didn't think it'd make too much of a difference, but it did. The real struggle with the design was the googly eyes and the front. Did I want to make this an old rusted Pokemon with that's from the deep and I just make just give it lights? Or do I want to make a submarine looking Pokemon? That's when I decided on a typing, Water Dark. I already have a ghost type Mahalian variant in the region already with, with Deerling and Swap and Saj Buck. Don't ask me why I picked those Pokemon for a Mahalian region variant. I think it's because I because it's supposed to represent dried plants. Despite all of this, I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. But Lantern is what I was really confused about. Chinchow, the deep fish Pokemon. Chinchow spend their time in deep water playing pranks on other water type Pokemon. Due to its new diet in the Mahali region, its mannerisms and its lights have changed to have a sort of bioluminescence. And due to the change in location, they've had to become scrappier and more devious. If you see a light while swimming underwater, it might be Chinchow. Now the star of this video, Lantern, one of my top 10 favorite Pokemon. It might be close to the top five. Now, let me explain. I had a hard time choosing if I wanted to make this a uh, new version of Lantern, like Runarigus, or just make it Lantern. But since it's in the same pose, I was gonna just pick, say it's Lantern because it's not that different. 
you might be able to tell it's Lantern if I if you've never seen Pokemon before or you hadn't seen Lantern. Actually, that wouldn't make no sense. If you had seen Pokemon before and you if you weren't directly staring at Lantern, I didn't tell you this was Lantern. Would you be able to realize it's Lantern? If you can't, uh, it's called Lanternal. If you can, it's just Lantern. And this design is heavily saved by shading. And my designs are saved by shading, but I hated this design when I first drew it, but once I got done shading it, I love it. Again, what holds this design back from being that great is the line work. I really should have learned my lesson from the Chin Chow and just made the line work regular, but I didn't. And what does this Pokemon have to do with Mahali region? Mahali region is based off of Africa, right? However, that, I decided to change that up a bit. Mahali region is still based off of Africa. However, Africa is flipped upside down like in Galar, and it's split up to several islands, and it's placed directly above the Mariana Trench. Do I hear a post-game plot? You probably do. I'm still writing the story of Mahali region, and I have boatloads of time because I still need to design a lot of Pokemon. I haven't designed my Pikachu clone yet. I haven't decided to, I haven't drawn the suit of Legendary, but actually that's a later edition next this in this water week. And trust me, it's not what you think it is. It's way stupider. Back to the design itself, I was saying it doesn't look like Lantern that much because of the, the headpiece is completely gone and it's replaced with these dual flashlight thingies. I considered making this Pokemon uh, electric and dark, but then I realized I, it wouldn't be a water type anymore and I wanted my character to use water type Pokemon. I had the ice water dark, the Chinchow water dark, and then make a like, lantern water dark electric. You know what? I'm gonna do that. If I guess I can have a poison type team and be called a ghost type gym leader, I can have one dark type on that character's team. Here's lantern or lanternal. spend their time sensing the dark depths of the sea. Food. It'll often pirate ships in the Mahali region, and people will think it's a sort of sea monster. It likes to stay away from the surface. It dislikes unnecessary light and attention. Even trainers have a tough time dealing with their own lantern. I want you guys to recommend Pokemon I can draw for the Mahali region because the Mahali region is at, based on Africa, flipped upside down like in Galar, but it's spread out and but it's split into five islands and it's placed over the Mariana Trench. Will I make the Mariana Trench a post game plot? Probably. But that's all for the story of Mahal of Mahali region. So. Tell me what you think of these designs in the comments. I can redesign them because I have a boatload of time. And, well, see y'all next time.